Hey, so in this video, I'm going to try to explain my mnemonic for ionized calcium in acidosis and alkalosis. So starting off, I use the mnemonic related to their chemistries. Hydrogen is plus one charge and calcium is plus two. And so from this, I use the idea that hydrogen is in first place and calcium is in second place. Anytime there's an anion, hydrogen gets first priority on it and calcium is second priority. So in acidosis, where hydrogen and calcium can both compete for bonding with the anion, the hydrogen is first and priority. This kicks off the calcium, and so there's more plus two calcium in serum. In alkalosis, there are less hydrogen ions or more anions. Calcium, that is basically a second class citizen, finally has room and can bind with the anions. This leaves less ionized calcium in the serum. I hope this mnemonic helps you for every question you ever get about what happens to the ionized calcium in an acidosis or alkalosis state.